Good morning, everyone. My name is Paul Psolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and ivymasters.com. And today we're doing test one, section two, number five, which reads, to make this paragraph most logical, sentence five should be placed. So I've highlighted the important information in your practice and on test day. It's good for you to underline the important information. And what you see here is a sentence placement question. What I've found is that there's four things that you need to check for when placing your sentence. Number one, paragraphs go from general to specific. So if the transition before or after is going specific to general, then you know it's in the wrong spot. Paragraphs also go from problem to solution. So if the transition before or after is going solution to problem, then you know it's in the wrong spot. You should also not separate any sentences that should not be separated. So that's why it's important to read before and after the sentence itself. And in a lot of cases, the test makers will make it so it works with the sentence before, but not necessarily the sentence after. And then lastly, you'd want to see if you would expect something before or after the sentence itself. For example, if it says, without this idea, Einstein would have never formed this theory of relativity, then you would expect something before. What would you expect before? You'd expect the idea. So be on the lookout also for words like this or that or these or those, which would tell you whether you're expecting something before or after. So now we're going to scroll to sentence five, and we'll read sentence five and see if there's anything that we'd expect before or after. If it isn't properly introduced into the environment, acid wave runoff can pollute waterways, depleting the oxygen content of the streams and rivers as it decomposes. So is there anything you're expecting before or after? Is this part of the problem or part of the solution? You can see here that it is part of the problem if it's improperly introduced into the environment. So that's one thing I want to keep in mind. And I also want to make sure I'm going from general to specific. So let's see how it looks where it is now. They can add it to livestock feed as a protein supplement. And the correct answer here is, and convert it to gas to use as fuel and electricity production, which sounds like it's part of the solution. And again, we're going to go problem to solution. So sentence five should go earlier than sentence four. So that's why it should not be where it is now. Now, let's see if it should go after sentence one. So sentence one reads, the main environmental problem caused by the production of Greek yogurt is the creation of acid whey as a byproduct. If it isn't properly introduced into the environment, acid whey runoff can pollute waterways, depleting the oxygen content of streams and rivers as it decomposes. Sounds okay. And then when I read sentence two after sentence five, because it requires up to four times more milk to make than conventional yogurt does, Greek yogurt produces large amounts of acid whey, which is difficult to dispose of. And it looks like that's not a good place to put it. Why? Because um, sentence five is more specific. What's going to happen if it's improperly introduced into the environment? Whereas sentence two is more general and it seems to still be introducing the acid whey and that it is difficult to dispose of. So it should not go after sentence one either. Let's see how it looks after sentence two. So starting here with sentence two, because it requires up to four times more milk than conventional yogurt does, Greek yogurt produces large amounts of acid whey, which is difficult to dispose of. If it's improperly introduced in the environment, acid whey runoff can pollute waterways, depleting the oxygen content of streams and rivers as it decomposes. To address the problem of disposal, farmers have found a number of uses for acid whey. So we see in sentence two, as we said, it was still presenting the problem in general terms. Sentence five, as we said, is presenting the problem still, but more specifically. And then sentence three is getting to the solution. Looks like a good placement for that sentence. And then just to see that it is not going to be sent after sentence three, when we read sentence three, to address the problem of disposal, farmers have found a number of uses for acid whey. And then if it is improperly introduced to the environment, acid whey runoff can pollute waterways. So there again, we go from solution to address the problem of disposal to problem if it is improperly introduced into the environment. 
As you can see, these types of questions are more time consuming than most. So if timing is an issue for you, then at least until you get your timing under control, it's a good idea to leave sentence placement questions for last since all the questions are worth the same number of points. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Nice to see everyone. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.